while William is expected to have a packed schedule combining royal commitments and public appearances with parenting and looking after his wife, the Princess of Wales, who is continued with preventative cancer treatment, then there is no doubt that the future king will have to shoulder the burden of the world arm. He was supported by his family, and in particular, King Charles gave him the green light to withdraw from royal duties. But one relative who would be and always was close to William was his cousin Peter Phillips. Earlier this month, Peter made headlines when news broke of his split from Lindsay Stephen. He is considered the unluckiest member of the royal family in love, especially after the breakdown of his marriage to ex-wife Autumn Phillips in 2019, with whom he has two daughters, 13-year-old Savannah and Isla is 12 years old. But when it comes to his personal life more on that later, Peter, 46, is very much loved by the royal family. From an early age, he clearly formed a strong bond with his cousin William, who was five years his junior, and later maintained an equally close relationship with his cousin, Duchess Kate. I think he has a lot of respect and admiration for William, who is under huge pressure, and Peter will be a great support for him in the future both as a cousin and as someone who is being with him all his life and understanding this organization, she said H.I. to royal editor Emily Nash. Like the rest of the family, I am sure that Peter is supporting William and Kate through their cancer treatment. Peter is the oldest of his generation and naturally takes on a caregiver role, Emily notes. His unique position is that he understands how the royal family and institutions work, but has no title or responsibility himself. He has a practical, reasonable approach to issues and will be a reliable orator for the future king. Princess Anne's son clearly admires the Wallace family. In an interview with Sky News Australia earlier this year, he said of Kate, she's amazing in her own way. She and William make a great team together. Peter Phillips laughs with the Princess of Wales during a charity polo match. Peter also said the couple have found the right balance. Their children are amazing and they balance a social life with trying to be parents to three young children, which is always difficult. Because I think as history teaches us and everyone knows, what you really want is to be there for your children. A constant throughout William's life, Peter was always close to his cousin. Growing up, we were a real team, as he previously told Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway on Good Morning Britain. It was fun, Peter said. We caused real destruction and devastation, but fortunately I don't think we collapsed too much. Looking back at archive photos, the bond between the two cousins is clear to see, whether they are admiring the flight of an RAF plane and trooping the color or holding hands at the Easter Mass. At age 19, Peter went to Balmoral to comfort William and his younger brother, Prince Harry, when their mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, tragically died in a car accident. He and his brothers went for outdoor walks around the vast expanse of Scotland. Much attention was also paid to Peter's position in the procession at Prince Philip's funeral as he stood among the estranged brothers behind their grandfather's coffin, almost acting as a peacemaker. Peter was said to be the favorite grandson of the late Duke of Edinburgh, who nicknamed him winner for his easygoing personality, trustworthiness, politeness, and ability to remain calm and collected. He was the first of the late Queen and Prince Philip's grandchildren to marry and the first to give birth to the couple's great-grandchildren after the birth of daughter Savannah in 2010. Unfortunately, he also followed in the footsteps of his mother, Princess Anne, and his uncles, King Charles and Prince Andrew, and becoming the first in his generation to divorce. 